Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. In my previous YouTube tutorials, I've shown you how to bring your ideas to life by creating mind-blowing images using AI-powered text-to-image tools. Now, it's time to take your AI art to the next level. Are you ready to turn your AI masterpieces into stunning animations? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to animate the AI images you've created, turning them into dynamic, eye-catching animations. Stay with me until the end, because I'll be revealing the secrets to mastering AI animation. You won't want to miss it! Let's visit the Kling AI website. To create an account and log in, click on the sign in button located in the top right corner of the website. If you don't have an account yet, click on the sign up for free link. I've already created an account, so I'll click on sign in. Enter your email and password in this window, then click on the sign in button. A window called security verification will pop up. In this image, a piece of the puzzle is missing, and the slider on the left is attached to the missing piece. To complete the puzzle, Drag the slider and the puzzle piece to the empty spot. Once the puzzle is completed, the security verification will be marked as done and you will be logged into the Kling AI website. Upon creating an account, you will receive 66 tokens for free, which you can use to access the website's services. These tokens are recharged every 24 hours. Now, we want to animate the images generated by AI and turn them into a video or animation. To do this, I'll click on the AI videos item. In the right panel, I can see a list of works previously generated by this AI. On the left panel, there are two tabs, text to video and image to video. I'll click on the image to video tab. Here, we have a panel called image and prompt. In this panel, with the select from history option, we can choose images that we have already generated using this AI and proceed with animating them. With the click drop paste option, we can even upload personal images or those generated by other AIs and animate them. I'll click on the click drop paste option. In the window that opens, I'll select the desired image and upload it. Once uploaded, the image thumbnail will be displayed in the image and prompt panel, along with an icon next to it for deleting the image. After that, in the prompt section, we can type out our ideas for animating the image in text form. At the top left corner of the website, there is a drop-down menu for selecting the version of Kling AI. Currently, versions 1 and 1.5 of this AI are available, and from what I've noticed, Version 1.5 is only available with paid plans, and if you select version 1.5 in the free plan, the options become inactive. For animating images in Kling AI, there are currently two options, one is entering a prompt, and the other is using the motion brush. In the prompt panel, we can type our ideas for animating the image, and Kling AI will animate the image based on our input. Remember, you're dealing with an AI, and its power is at your disposal. The more detailed and thoughtful your ideas and text explanations are, the better Kling AI will understand what needs to be done. You need to provide comprehensive information to get optimal results from this AI. I've already written my idea, so I'll just paste it here. As you can see, I uploaded an image of Dwayne Johnson, and in the prompt text, I emphasized his smiling and camera movement. I'm hoping the result reflects what's in the prompt. The motion brush feature can also help with animating images which I'll cover in future tutorials. But briefly, it works by letting you select the item you want to move with a brush. The brush size can be adjusted. There's also an eraser tool to remove brushed areas. After brushing the items, you can define the movement path by selecting the track option. In this particular case an image, the motion brush option won't be useful, and I'll cover it in future tutorials. A bit further down in the setting panel, there's a slider that lets us choose between creativity and relevance. But in this case, I won't change it. In the mode section, the standard mode is offered in the free plan, which leads to faster generation speed, while professional mode gives better visual quality but is only available in the premium plan, which you need to purchase to use. In the length section, you can set the video length between 5 and 10 seconds, and once again, the 10 second option is only available in the premium plan. In the Number of Generations section, you can specify how many videos will be generated in each round. For the Image to Video section, there is also a Camera Movement option, but it's inactive in the free plan. I'll click on the Generate option. 10 tokens will be deducted from my balance. 
My request is now in the queue. After a short while, if there are no bugs or issues, my image will be turned into a video and displayed. Now I'll play the video. Upon reviewing the video, it's clear that the animation was done exactly according to my prompt. If you remember, I mentioned Dwayne Johnson smiling in the prompt, and that's exactly what Kling AI did for me. In the bottom right corner of the video frame, I'll hover over the three dot icon, where you'll find the delete option to remove the image. Below the video frame, there's a download button to download the video to your device for free. A reminder, in the free account, the videos will have a watermark. To download videos without a watermark, you need to purchase the premium plan. If you're not happy with the result of the generate, keep testing with different prompts and settings. With enough attempts, you'll eventually get an excellent video generate. If you learned something new from this tutorial, please smash the like button, show your support, and share this video with your friends. This tutorial is just a small drop in an endless ocean of tutorials being uploaded to this channel. If you're into AI, you've come to the right place. Subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my future tutorials. Let me repeat this. AI is the future, so embrace it today. I'll see you in the next tutorial.